last time I was in this chair after a game here at home, I was not pleased with the performance we had or how we represented our program. Totally different story today. Um, proud of our guys. Hated for our seniors. Um, a lot of some really good stories in that group, and they've uh, they represented this program well. They've competed hard. They played their best football. Um, almost every one of them here at the end of their career, and uh, looking forward to the last week of them. So hated for them here on Senior Day, but uh, just too many missed opportunities. I think that's a, sums it up. Um, credit to them; they made plays at the end of the game. We didn't; they did. Um, and, you know, there's some reasons probably why they're 21, 22, depending on polls and, and why they've got eight wins. But uh, credit to them. But, again, I thought, our, I thought our guys played extremely hard, and I thought we were physical today. Um, you know, defensively, um, we did some really good things. We held them under their averages and I think in every phase. Um, we limited their run game. I thought our lack of depth hurt us in the second half. You know, Chuba's, he, he's, he, he's the real deal. I mean, um, he hurt us in the pass game today, uh, especially on a couple screens, a couple third downs. They got the ball to him. And he either made us miss or, or stiff-armed or ran through tackles. Um, we had him bottled up a couple times and he got out. And, and that's not just been just us. That's been all, all year. And so I knew coming in, he was a, he was a great player. And I, I leave the game. He was a great player. And um, But I thought defensively we did some – we did some nice things. We um, we scored out there, wore down a little bit in the in the fourth quarter. Um, offensively, um, at some at some points today, we we looked like that we were getting ready to take off, and then. But I think the story of the game, um, and it came down, I think, offensively, is the issues the issues we've had all year are the issues that haunted us today. Um, our lack of ability to run the football. We didn't score touchdowns in the red zone, and we had critical drops. You know, we had four drops in the second half. Um, and some of those are competitive catches, but I mean, you gotta make those to win games. And we didn't do it. Um, and as a staff, we gotta get better. You know, we, we, gotta, we gotta do a better job in, in those areas. Um, special teams, you know, I thought our punt coverage team did a nice job. Our kickoff return, we really struggled today. We, we had poor, every time they scored, we really, we had poor field position. We did not do as good a job blocking on that as we have at some points during the year. So, so that was disappointing. Um, but that I'll, I'll take questions. Yeah. You know, walk us through that last drive when you had a chance to tie the game. Your thoughts, what you wanted to do? What yeah. Do? Once it got under two, once it got under about three and a half, four minutes, I knew this was going to be our last kind of go at it. That's why um, on those short yardage plays, we went on to use our timeouts. Um, and so it's been a struggle. We were just, you know, short yardage. We were actually a little better, except for that goal line sequence, um, which I thought we scored on anyway. Um, but I wanted to make sure that because we had it on the third down and we didn't, we didn't have our eyes up on our stance, and, and they slanted and beat us on the third and yard. So on that fourth down, I wanted to make sure that we that we got lined up and we were ready to go. Um, so we got that. And then use the timeout there in the last play of the game because at that point, it, you know, I knew they were going to zero blitzes, uh, which they did. They, they brought seven. And um, so we brought it over to talk about it. Um, I don't know if we sorted it out correctly. I gotta, I'll got i have to watch it. But we, well, we ran the same play that we scored. They zero blitzed us on Georgia's touchdown uh, earlier in the game. So ran the same play. Um, you know, it comes down to one play. That, that play didn't necessarily hurt us. We had a couple opportunities in that drive to, to make plays. We didn't do it. So, disappointing, disappointing. Especially the field goal early. Is there ever any consideration of using safety like that? Yeah. So, what we did is, is we had kind of did a competition. Staley hit the ball um, better all week. And so let it ride, and his ball flight was a lot better. Um, so he didn't kick that one very well. Um, but he did come back and make two other ones. But that was that was the thought process on that. You know, what killed us on that is we, we made a mistake. I think we had the ball inside the 30 maybe, and we, we lose, I think it was second and one, we lose like 10 yards. And so um, 
we'd love to make that kick, but the, the ball shouldn't just make that distance either. What, uh, what explanation was given you on the Sam James play where? Yeah, I don't really understand it. So I thought he was in. I thought the, the replay showed he was in. Um, I don't know since they they called him down. I don't know if the replay did it was inconclusive. Something about they felt like his shin was down. I didn't see it that way. I don't know. I've got to talk to Greg Burks. I got to get a clear understanding of that. I thought we were pretty close to getting in on the quarterback sneak on the first one. Again, I didn't see it. I don't, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering why they sent Benson out with a replay. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to get an explanation through that sequence of plays. It looked like you guys were shifting on the third and one. Yeah, that that was that that was that that was a con entirely miscommunication. Okay, I was trying to get down and call timeout and move before I could get to him. Okay. What are your thoughts on Drew Brown's performance tonight? You know, he, he did enough to win the game. I thought that I thought their team would rally around him, uh, which I thought they did. He's a good player. He won, he won several games in Hawaii, and he made some key throws in that last touchdown drive they had. You know, I thought he, he made some really nice throws on the outcuts. Did he have a lot of other things working against you on the <coughs> What did you think of Davis? You know, I, I thought, you know, what was it, 28-38 with four drops? That's a pretty good day, you know, and 300 yards. Um, stood in there and took hits. You know, um, yeah, I think he's – you know, especially, you know, sitting out all those games probably a little rusty. But pleased with, with how he's performed, how he's thrown the ball well. Um, we just we got to do some things around him to be better. You know, we, we just got to – we got to be able to run it better. And we're keeping on – we're calling that – we're being balanced. Just, uh, so we don't see, like, blitzes like we did that last – you know, the last play there. Um, but we've got to be more effective. When we're running the football, you know, we got to be better in our string game. Our string game has been a struggle too. It's been a struggle as well. So, I thought he handled himself well. I uh, thought he did a good job on that last drive. Uh, I think two plays before that, uh, last play, he, he put the ball in the money, and we just, we got to make plays for him. Um, there were 2.4 yards carry in Lewis. That's mm -hmm. the Michigan Hail Mary game way back in the day, 47 games. I'm pretty, pretty happy with what your defense did today. Yeah, I thought they did. You know, and I said that. Uh, Alan, I thought they, thought our guys battled. I thought we had a good plan. Uh, they wore us down a little bit. You know, you know, our defensive line just played a lot of snaps. You know, and they have to. But they wore us down. And he's a, he's a great player. Chuba's a great player. And we got him bottled up on the touchdown. The touchdown he run, he kind of broke it outside. Um, but I thought defensively, uh, we did a nice job. And, and Really, outside of a couple games, we've done some. We played well against the run. How, how disappointing is it not to win a league game behind the two weeks I hadn't even thought about it, but I mean, obviously, it's not good. The, uh, the second time out, you had to use the play clock was running down. They had a very deliberate substitution of Pat. That's a, were you the one asking me a question about that earlier in the week? You know, it's like somebody asked me a question about that. Um, I think it was on the radio show. I don't, I don't know. I've got to get clarification on that. I thought I thought because we subbed with like 17 or 18 seconds to go, so it shouldn't have been a deal where we should have been on the ball. I don't think. Now I got to get clarification. I, I don't. I had a lot going on then, so I don't want to. I don't want to speak out of turn. Okay, one more question. Uh, what can you say about you know the seniors that bought in in, in their final year here? Yeah, and that's what I, I talked about a little bit there in the opening is I just hate it for them because if you look at that group, and I don't want to name names because I don't want to leave anybody out, but, you know, guys that have played really well this year, the senior, the, obviously their senior year hasn't gone how they wanted to, how they wanted to, but there was guys that have played a significant role and played their best football. You know, and that's all you ask for as a coach is they go out late on the line um, and they, get, they, they improve. And, and they have, and I, and I met with them yesterday, and I told them, like, "Listen, I, I appreciate you guys. Um, you didn't, you didn't ask for us to come in here as staff. You didn't ask for some of the ad, ad, adversity that, that's hit us this year. 
you know, whether it's attrition or being young or whatever it is, you didn't ask for any of that. But to your credit, all you did was, was show up and do the work. And a couple of those guys have set a standard here that unfortunately they're not going to see the, the fruits of it, but there will be, they will be paid off down the road. And so, um, wish we could have finished it here um, at home for them, but, but we didn't get it done. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, thank you all.